I'm Bill Moore. I'm the sales manager for Conger LP Gas, and my daily job for Conger is to go out and talk to farmers about irrigation engines and school systems about propane for buses. But my, my first love really is cooking, and I've been cooking for a long time. And what we're going to do today is uh, we're in our Conger uh, LP Gas demonstration kitchen, and what it has allowed us to do over the past year has partnered with people like Laura at the Italian Wooden Spoon and Hugh Hardy up at Carol Sausage and locally we've used uh, Eric Wisham with Wisham Jellies. They've came in and we've held cooking shows and demonstrations and Hugh has filmed some things here and we've just had a great year. Well as a result of that we've partnered with some of them and we carry some of the products that they use. We've got some Carol Sausage uh, seasonings, which I'm gonna use today uh, in doing a steak. We've got some uh, Smoking Temptations barbecue sauces, and then we've got some items that we use from, from Laura at the Italian Wooden Spoon. So if you happen to have a last minute Christmas gift, come and talk to Amzie or come and talk to Kirsten. We've got 25% uh, off on all of these items. We've actually got a few items left from Laura Joe and uh, they're buy one get one free so if you've got a last minute christmas gift or if you've got a griller in the family and just want a little stocking stuffer come and see us at our new offices at 146 south ridge and we'd love to help you all out but what i'm going to do today is i'm going to move over here and we're going to prepare a steak using what we call the reverse sear method and if you're not familiar with what reverse sear is it's taking uh, a steak in this case where i'm using ribeyes and they're thick cut and it's putting them in an oven and cooking them at uh, a low temperature, in this case, 200 degrees. And we're gonna bring them up to about a rare, about 125 degree temperature. Once they get to that temperature, I'm gonna take them out and we'll take them and actually finish them off in a cast iron skillet with some butter and seasonings. And we'll bring them up to, you know, either a rare or medium rare or medium, whatever temperature you like, you can adjust your cooking times accordingly. Well, so today what I'm gonna do, I have got uh, two ribeyes. These are thick cut. I went ahead and cut them in half. These are big enough so that there's really more than enough for one person. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use two of Hugh's seasonings. Uh, one of them is, is his steak seasoning. Very simple. Uh, I have actually patted them dry so that the uh, seasoning will actually stick. And then I'm just gonna cover it really good. And you may think it's a lot, but really once you get it in there, once you get it in the oven, it's going to actually absorb into the steak. So whether it's whether it's some of these seasonings or some that you like, just go ahead and use it. Use it liberally. This is a big piece of meat, and I promise that it's going to finish out fine. I'm going to do a couple of these in the steak seasoning. What this is going to allow me to do is I'm going to cook these to a couple of different temperatures. Personally, I like my stuff more from the medium rare to rare side. Some of the people up here that I'm gonna also be cooking this for may like more to the medium side. So I'm gonna be able to let me cook it to a couple of different temperatures, okay? This was his steak seasoning. One of the other ones that I'm gonna do is his garlic butter sauce. We're gonna try it also. Again, if you like garlic, you like some of your other things. Hugh has got probably 50 or 75 items in his uh, seasonings and you know whether you come by here we have a small selection whether you go to his uh, Ashburn or Sylvester offices where he has things in stock up there okay so I've got steak seasoning I've got butter then I'm gonna go the traditional way here I'm gonna do salt and pepper uh, I use kosher salt uh, it actually lets you control the uh, salt content a little bit more so we're using salt this is actually fresh fresh ground pepper same thing it looks like it might be a lot, but I promise you, it is going to absorb into the meat, and when we finish searing it off, it's not going to be overly salty, I, very, I promise you that. So we're going to try this. Okay, once you get it seasoned well, what we're going to do is turn around, and I'm going to put them on a uh, rim baking sheet that has a rack in it so that any of the juices that do come out, they'll seep down onto the baking sheet, and I'm going to take these and put them into the oven, 200 degrees, I'm gonna start off probably at about 45 minutes. Now I use a thermometer that I can actually run the temperature. So I can, I'll put this in the meat and I'll watch it as the temperature rises. If you don't have that, we actually carry some instant read thermometers here at the office. You can come by and buy one. It's great for testing temperature and doneness. Uh, 
But as, as it gets toward the 125 degree, which is considered rare for beef, I'll pull some of it out. Because once I bring it out, once I sear it off in the cast iron skillet a little bit later, temperature is going to rise another 10 to 15 degrees, and it'll come at that point to the temperature we want. So as I prep this, I'm going to go ahead and put them in the oven that's preheated at 200, and then we'll come back later as it reaches that temperature. Then we'll show how to finish it off in the cast iron skillet. gotten to probably about 135 degrees which is a medium rare temperature I'm gonna take them out what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take them and, and finish them off in a cast iron skillet I put a little oil in it to get hot then I'm gonna put a little butter and baste it then that will finish and once we let it rest it should get to a medium rare to a medium temperature so this Okay, so as you look at the steaks, you'll see that they're not, they're not browned yet, but they're done internally to around 135 degrees. I've got a cast iron skillet, it's very hot, and you're gonna notice what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a crust. We're gonna sear it. So what we're gonna do, now we've got, uh, this one is the one that has the uh, Carol's sausage, it's his uh, butter, his uh, garlic butter, and this one is his steak seasoning. So what we're going to do is we're going to let it sear for a couple of minutes and while it does that what we're going to do is once we flip it is we're going to add some butter to the uh, to the pan and then we're going to finish basting it let it finish cooking a couple of minutes by then it should come out to around a, a medium rare to medium we're going to let it rest what you do by letting it rest the meat uh, normally has all the juices going out to the sides and that's why you don't have any uh, you know, when we do it in the oven like this, there's really no oil in the bottom of the pan, so it hasn't really gotten rid of the juices yet. But by letting it rest, it lets all the juices go back into it, helps the steak stay tender, helps it stay moist, so let it rest. Don't always open it, or don't always take it out and cut it up first thing. Let it rest a minute. Okay, we've had these steaks in here. We're going to turn them over. As you can see, it's got a nice sear on it. It's brown. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and put in some butter. And I use, uh, according to what I have, this happens to be just um, regular unsalted butter, which is what I use most of the time. By using unsalted butter, I can control the amount of salt that I actually put on a piece of meat or whatever that we've got. So we've got these series. You can see the butter is actually melting in here. I'm just going to take a spoon and I'm going I'm to spoon the, the butter mixture over it and just let it finish searing. On the rule of thumb in cooking, butter always makes it better. And the only thing better than that is bacon fat. So other than that, we're going to be good with this right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to finish it. And it doesn't take long, a couple of minutes. After that, it could possibly burn or the butter could burn. Um, we're actually cooking this in a cast iron skillet to get a better heat, a little bit more heat to it. So what I'm going to do is take this off, put it on my cutting board, and then we're going to let it rest for about five minutes or so before I slice it and then we'll we'll cut it up and have some appetizers for everybody that happens to be here. So our farmers might walk in, you just don't ever know, they might be here for a late lunch. So thank y'all again. We may try this later on with some other recipes, but again, remember to come by Congert, 146 South Ridge. Uh, stocking stuffers, Carol sausage, uh, barbecue sausage, y'all come and see us. But again, thank y'all and have a Merry Christmas. <music>